<clears throat> All right. The only thing we have left for the missions of Synchro Festival are these. Monsters your opponent on your opponent's field are destroyed in exhibition. So it's like the exhibition missions, I guess. Campaign missions, apparently. Uh, oh, we also have this one left. But like, I'm pretty sure we will complete this one before we complete this one. Um, yeah. So that's that's the only things we have left. We have some things in rank duels left. But um, yeah, we also got some to claim. All right, um, let's go for it. So what I was thinking, um, and what I actually already did, I played a few duels with. Um, let's go to deck first. Played a few duels with the Phantasm Spiral deck. And again, Phantasm Spiral Battle is limited uh, this time in this event. So uh, there's only one of the, uh, that card in this deck. Um, but what I was thinking, since we want to destroy our uh, monsters on our opponent's field, we might want to include like Dark Hole. Um, it's also, it's like uh, similar to Torrential Tribute. Torrential Tribute is better because you can do it on your opponent's turn. Um, but like apparently we have Dark Hole. I didn't even know that by the way. I did, we never crafted them or something, so we got them from packs. Um, yeah, so what I was thinking is actually including... Yeah, let's do something like this, perhaps. Two Dark Holes. And... Yeah, are there any other destruction? Like, if, if we could include battle more times, then of course, because it uh, destroys cards. It could be monsters, but cards. Oh, we also definitely want another Heat Wave, but I currently have only two. Um, and we don't have... Kind of don't feel like we want to spend the SR points. Basically, the thing is you want to keep 30 SR points in case you run into 10,000 gems, at which point you may not, you are not able to collect gems anymore. Um, then what you want, you have to do is basically buy a deck, um, and you'll want to keep your challenge or crafting points for that because then you can unlock the deck that you actually want by crafting the card which is in the pack that you actually want. Um, yeah, you guys probably know it by now. Um, all right, let's copy from my deck. Yes, you have to do this every time. That uh, every time when we make some adjustments, did I, I saved it right? Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, the, the only difference is now that we have two dark holes in it. Ah, I should have shown the duels actually that I just played. I forgot. Um, but I actually had a really fun duel against a cubic player, a uh, cubic deck basically. He did include still maxi and reasoning, um, but. Yeah, uh, it, it, uh, apart from that, like it was a really good duel, really fun duel in my opinion, so. Okay, he starts. Hmm. That's unfortunate, I have to say. Oh, at Emancipators, wow. He will get a lot of monsters on the field. Nibiru. He will special summon this one, likely. Yeah, that's the only one, because he must, it must be a non-tuner. Non-tuner. <laughs> Level 4 or lower, non-tuner rock monster, wait. But was that not a rock monster? What what happened? I mean, I don't mind that much, but that's cool. Um, yeah, we have Heavenly Dragon Circle. Hmm. Let's uh, first nope. Let's first uh, get Battle to the hand, I guess. And then what we can do is activate you, equip it because it um, has a, a great effect when a monster when an opponent's monster battles. Or when our when our monster battles, basically, um, you'll see. So we try to battle. Uh, yeah, that's sure. We will keep those in the hand for now. Okay, and then at the end of the battle phase, we can actually yes, special summon a phantasm spiral dragon from the hand or deck, which will obviously be the deck. Welcome to the field, and then the equip card uh, equips to him. And now, even uh, on top of that, he has to discard a card from his hand, which is. Great, in my opinion. Um, okay, he discarded actually a really good monster. Um, let's set this for now. And I guess that's it. That should be it. And because the thing is, we can, uh, with Heavenly Dragon Circle, we can tribute uh, one of our worm monsters, which is which could be our token. And then we can special summon one uh, Phantasm Spiral Dragon from the deck. Special. That, is, that does not have an effect on the field. Is he gonna... What is he doing? Okay. If you control an Adamantipator monster, I see now. Okay, fine. During your main phase, you can excavate the top five cards. Okay, so this is not an unsummon effect, so we can destroy it prior to it happening, and that's, I think, what I wa will do. Um, will we just activate it now? I guess, I guess, let's activate it now.
Um, yeah, sure, that's fine. That's it. You don't have to activate the Heavenly Dragon Circle yet. <coughs> you likely always want to use it on your token anyway, by the way. But yeah. Alright, then we add a card to the hand. It will be the... Yeah, okay, he gave up. <laughs> oh man, we, we did destroy one monster on his field, so if anything... Um, but yeah, that's actually a good thing. Now I can show you the match history. Um, bacon versus bacon power. Yeah, so I think here we... From here we... No, here, I think here. We started playing with um, Phantasm Spiral deck. Either that or with the... Or that was still the Sacred Beast deck, but... Wait, please, be fast, Yu-Gi-Oh! It's a pity you can't see what deck you were playing with. And it could be the deck name that you gave it yourself. We play with the Phantasm Spirals already. Okay, yeah, so um, how did this go quickly? We, okay, we started Phantasm, Sp Phantasm City, yep. Oh, he gave up, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. We actually had a good hand because we had the combination of uh, Phantasm Spiral and Sea Stealth Attack, which is a great combination. We had that in the hand. And here, this was actually really fun though, you can tell, like 14 turns. Uh, here, he probably also gave up in the first, first turn. Here, maybe we gave up? <laughs> Potentially, I don't know. Sometimes uh, when... Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this. He actually played a combo deck. He started and he played, uh, I think it was... Uh, Incinerator? I forgot the name of it exactly. Uh, Resonator, Resonator was it. Resonator. Um, and that's actually... Uh, I've seen it before. It's a really big combo deck and I didn't want to sit it out. I'd rather go into another duel. And that's how we got to here. Um, but I quickly want to show you this one because this is actually a really fun duel. I played against Cubic, like I just said. <coughs> and let's see how it went. I actually, I'm looking forward to like rewatching this duel. This duel is really fun. Okay, so we have a decent hand. We started with Planet Pathfinder twice. Uh, once is definitely enough, but um, we'd rather have it one too many times than uh, just miss it completely because Phantasm City is uh, crucial to our deck. Okay, we put a normal monster on the field. We have a negate face down, we have Dynamiscus face down, he ha and we have Planet Pathfinder in the hand, which is not that useful, so we can use it as a target for Dynamiscus, or discard card, discard fodder for Dynamiscus. He has, oh yeah, he started revealing cards in the hand. So then you know, Cubic, Nova the Dark, <laughs> Nova the Dark Lord, yeah, that's his name, right? Yeah, no, uh, Cubic Nova the Dar Dark Cubic Lord. This man is amazing. Um, yeah, he is incredibly dang dangerous, and uh, the well, so one below the boss monster of this deck. The final boss monster is actually the fusion, but he rarely gets out because he's difficult to get out. But once he comes out, then it's, uh, and it's an insta kill anyway. Um, okay, so he activates Cubic Dharma. That's actually the first time he activated a card effect. So then we can chain Phantasm to it. Um, he didn't ch chain a card effect, by the way. It's just a card in general. Okay, so we special summon the token and then we special uh, add to our hand. Battle, sure. You probably know what we're going to use battle on. He discarded a card and drew another card with Dharma's effect. During the battle phase, we destroy his monster, obviously. Okay, he actually had the trap card in the graveyard, which could special summon him a monster. And in May Phase 2, he used Reasoning, and I was like, what? No. I mean, it's a really good card in this deck, don't get me wrong, but it's a good card in almost every deck. And uh, yeah, but that's a good card, so I had to negate it. We definitely had to. And he had another Reasoning. <laughs> oh boy. Um, but he immediately flipped Max C, actually. So yeah, that's when I realized he also plays with standard cards, but yeah. Okay, so we had to kill his monsters. One we could just kill by battle, and the other one we had to um, kill by effect. So we target banished it with Dynamiscus. Then we have Torrential Tribute on the field, which we're happy with, because we want him to summon monsters and destroy monsters on our opponent's field. So he can discard and add again. Okay, we have... We actually had a really good card, Heat Wave. Neither player can spe normal special summon effect monster to your next draw phase, but he chained to it his trap card. So his trap card goes first, and then this resolves. So, um, yeah, his trap card... Special summon effect monsters anyway. We couldn't do anything. If you attack, you get a counter on your monster, cubic counter, and it actually says you cannot use effects, which doesn't matter for us, but also the monster cannot attack. So that would be detrimental. Not detrimental, but it would be bad. So yeah, we currently don't have a way to kill with effect. So what did I choose to do? I actually summon the monster myself so we could activate, activate Torrential Tribute. I did make, make a small mistake here because I chained Dynamiscus, which is completely dumb. Um, I don't know. I was... Uh, I'm. When I'm playing these uh, duels, I'm watching something on the side, nine times uh, out of ten. So, um, yeah, sometimes I'm not too pay actively paying attention. Okay, he sent uh, Dharma to the, uh, Karma to the graveyard. My bad. He used the card effect, so we get a token. Thank you, and we get a search. And yep, we have these two, uh, two times power in the hand. Okay, added a card to his hand. He wants to normal summon this monster really badly. You'll see. 
It, it's ironic actually. He goes for a lot, lot of times for this normal summon and we negate it now. So we negated this effect and yeah, it will happen again. Like You'll see. Okay, so he flipped two really good cards, the Trap card and uh, Karma. So he used this effect, sure. Got this out, wanted to resolve it again and we negated it again. So that's actually, yeah. <laughs> he really wants to resolve this effect. That's actually the thing that you can see. It's the only small monster in this deck which is actually normal summonable, uh, apart from Fijum himself. But okay, we use this, we get the negate to our hand, but we don't set it until May Phase 2, of course. All right, and this is actually where the, where the f I, I thought it was a really fun move. Oh, by the way, he normal summoned it and wanted to use the effect again. And again, we negated it third time. Um, all right, let's see. So yeah, we negated it. He had two monsters on the field. And then he used, yeah, cubic, no, cubic Dharma didn't do anything. Okay, it wasn't this turn yet. So here we actually drew finally Sea Stealth Attack. And I to just told you, like, it's a really good combination, right? To have uh, Phantasm City and Sea Stealth Attack at the same, uh, in the same hand, basically. Because now we can banish our token every time he uses an effect, the, which protects our face up spell and trap cards. Um, and in addition to that, we, because he used an effect, um, in the next chain, our Phantasm City will activate, special summon a token, and get a surge to our hand. So that's it's like a, an awesome combo. It's the best combo. Um, okay, so what did he do? He activated he activated Cubic Dharma last turn, but didn't do anything because he didn't have a Cubic uh, Fijum anymore in the deck or uh, in the in his hand. They were all in the graveyard or banished. Um, Dharma, he activated this effect. Okay, sure. Yeah, then we chained an effect to it. We, he used an effect, so we chained. Okay, use the effect, add, add some monster to the hand, sure. We banish our token, yeah, okay, this is slow. <laughs> but okay, yep, we banish our token, we special summon our token back, we get a search, and we search, power. Okay, he normal summons it again, and now he actually resolves it, finally. Um, but then the secondary effect of, or second effects of these guys actually uh, activated, which I barely realized, because I played with this deck in real life, and I barely used this effect. If a monster was sent to your graveyard this turn, while this card was face up on the field. You can make this card gain 200 attack for each monster with a different name in your graveyard. And you will see. That's actually quite a lot. So he gained 1600, so he has 800, uh, 8 monsters with different names in his graveyard, apparently. And yeah, now he actually has a lot of attack, which I was like, okay, that's really cool. But there's one thing, we have the OP combo here. Because apart from that uh, banishing thing, what I just said, like uh, protecting your face of spell and trap cards, uh, every time he activates an effect, which special summons a token and gets us a search, which is great already. There's also, at the start of the damage step, if your water monster who's original level 5 or higher battles an opponent's monster, destroy that opponent's monster. So it's killing by card effect when, whenever you go into a battle. And conveniently, this monster is level 8. So he attacked and he destroyed himself. Then he chose to attack again. He, he had a really long pause between this because he was probably not... He was like, what? Why did my monster die? Like, yo, I, I thought I had 3200 uh, 3, attack, and I was also like, yo, that, that's a good play, but it won't work, sir. <laughs> See, self-attack is a, is a great card. And then he really had a really long pause, and he actually uh, decided to attack again with his other monster, and I was like, okay. Um, but he did it so that he could use his trap card to banish and actually special summon from the deck. His... Uh, this is a good choice. I didn't. Uh, he he actually used this uh, trap card earlier, and I was like, why didn't why, why didn't you special summon this monster uh, in the first place? Because this actually has, even though like it uh, doesn't have its first effects because it's special, cheated out basically. Uh, so it doesn't have its its first effects, but it does have. If this card in your possession is sent to your graveyard by your opponent's card, uh, but better or card effect. So basically, in almost in any way, uh, you can just uh, you can target up to three cubic monsters in your grave, special summon them. So that, that's amazing, right? That's a really good effect. Um, the only thing is we have Dynamiscus. Poor guy. Yep, so we attacked for 2000. Then he drew, he sent to the graveyard and he gave up, yeah. Here he was, uh, he felt like he was hopeless. He couldn't find a, a way out anymore. And I mean, uh, the sea self attack and the Phantasm City combination is really powerful though, I have to say. Um, okay, I actually wanted to play quite some duels in this um, video, but I guess we'll continue that in the next video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the duel against the Cubic deck, um, I, because I certainly did. Alright, peace out.